lines. Parallel lines look like this. You notice that their growth is the same. So that means the slope will always be equivalent. So my job is to write an equation of a line. Well, we know when we write an equation of a line, we need two things. We need the slope and the y-intercept. So in this problem, I know my new line has to have a slope that's parallel to the existing line. So that means my new slope is going to be equivalent to that slope. So my slope will be 2. But I don't know the y-intercept. Instead, they give me a point. So this is like the last problem we did, where we know the slope, y equals 2x plus b, but we don't know the y-intercept. So how can I use this fact? Well, we know that x is a y value, is the 3, and y is the 10. So wherever I see x, I'll put a 3. Wherever I see y, I'll put a 10. So I'll have 10 equals 2, not x, but 3, plus b. And now I can solve for the y-intercept. So 10 equals 6 plus b. I want to isolate b. So this is a positive 6. So I'll subtract 6 from both sides using the subtraction property of equality. So the y-intercept is 4. So my equation is y equals 2x plus 4. Awesome. So let's look at the second one. Now in the 